Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the driver's front door handle, uh, which is basically the same as the passenger's front door handle on this 94 Camry, same as any 92 to 96 Camry. Tools you'll need are pretty basic, regular screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and a 10 millimeter socket uh, with a driver or a ratchet and an extension. Okay, we're going to start out by removing this trim panel up here. Just kind of put your fingers in behind. If you want, you can use a little screwdriver. pops out. See it has little pins that go into the grommets there. Now you need to remove this bezel around your door handle. And you do that by inserting a screwdriver at the top, prying up some, and pulling it out. Okay, and then the same thing at the bottom. Prying up with my screwdriver and pulling out with my fingers. Okay. And that comes out. Close up of where you place your screwdriver in order to pry that bezel. Now you need to remove uh, four um, covers that show screws. So basically, you just kind of pry these right off. I just could keep my hand over them because sometimes they'll go flying a little bit. Okay, now there's another one right under here. Just kind of pry it out and pull it out by hand. And then there's another one right down in here. Same thing. Now remove five screws, one, two, okay, three, four, and then there's one in there, five. Okay, then on the end of the door, there's two pins, you actually push center the pin in okay and then you can actually pull it out okay now here's a close up push in the pin and then use a screwdriver or your fingernail to pry those two pins out of the end of the door and now there's four pins along the bottom of the door i just recommend getting your hand underneath give it a good quick tug oh, my screws came out of the armrest there okay and now you just lift your panel up and off. Okay, and then the last step is to disconnect this harness. And there's a little button right here underneath. Press and work the connection out. And if you have the up level stereo with the tweeter in the door pole, you'll need to disconnect those. Okay, to remove your door handle, first uh, you're going to have a little. Um, piece of shield here that you just pull off. You can see there's no glue left on it, so it just kind of fell off my door. And then inside, see if we can see, you're going to see a bolt right there. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. You need to remove that. And then up in here, uh, accessible right here, another 10 millimeter bolt. And then the other thing is you can see that yellow clip right there. Um, you need to reach your hand in there and pull that clip off, and I will try to film that for you. Okay, so for that clip, you can reach your hand right in like this. And you basically need to get your finger in the back of it and push. Okay, and then, and then 
just use a screwdriver and you want to push that rod out away from okay, the door handle so now you can see the rod is disconnected. And now you'll want to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts, which you can just do with a regular um, 10 millimeter socket and a driver, uh, or you could use a ratchet with an extension. Put them in here, guys onto the bolt, remove it. Most likely these bolts are going to fall down in the door, which is okay. Those bolts out. You can pull the handle down, okay, and out. And then the lock here is got another little clip which you just pull away from the rod, slip the rod out, and your door handle's off. Okay, so obviously here's my uh, original handle, new handle from Money Auto. Um, if you're going to replace your handle, obviously this handle is in fine shape, so I am going to put it back on the car. Um, but you can see that the handle from Money Auto is the same, it's got the clip on it. Um, you would want to transfer your lock here, which is just a 10 millimeter bolt. Remove that bolt, put the lock onto the new handle, and then put the bolt in. Okay, so you can see it'd be ready to go. Uh, obviously, this is painted to the color of the car. There's no reason you can't just put a black one on if you're not that concerned about it. If you do want to paint it to the match of the car, then I would suggest going to a uh, automotive paint shop that has a good paint department. I'm sorry, an automotive parts store that has a good paint department. Uh, what they can do usually is using either your VIN or your paint code, which they can help you find. They can mix up some paint to match your car and put it in an air charge spray can, and then you can repaint your new door handle yourself. Now to reinstall the handle, first you want to reconnect your lock rod, so push that in and lock your clip, okay, and then kind of twist the handle in, and then push. Now we can reinstall our two 10 millimeter bolts, kind of feed them into the driver first, launch them into the hole lightly start them, make sure they go in nice and easy. Okay, same thing with this one. Make sure they're nice and firm. Okay, so now you want to make sure you reconnect your rod here, push it in, and reach in and lock it on. Now here you're going to carefully peel back your water shield. Um, you want to just take care not to tear it. And if that sticky stuff doesn't work when you put it back together, you can use some tape. Um, and you'll notice I have the inside door handle off to move the, uh, um, that's just to, to clear the water shield out of the way a little more to film. You don't actually have to take your inside door handle off uh, in order to get to this part. Okay, and now you can put your plastic water shield back on. And again, if that sticky stuff uh, wore out or whatever, use some masking tape. Uh, if you ripped it, use a little duct tape to bend it up. 
Okay, we're just going to fast forward through putting the door panel back on. Um, if you took it off, you'll probably be able to get it back on without too much trouble. If you do want to see this in real time uh, for some help to get the door panel back on, just check out our other video for the Camry door panel uh, installation and you can see that in regular motion. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.